Throwback gang, welcome back to a brand new episode of Stray. If you're new here, please consider liking, subbing, turning on the bell notifications so that you never miss an upload from me. Uh, link to the previous episode at the top right hand screen. Anyway, in the previous episode, we introduced ourselves to Brody, his crew, and we fell down a very deep shaft in all the way into the dead city then into the flats and we're now in the slums so on our way we found mr b12 aka mr b12 and now we are currently on the precipice of finding our way out of this place so that we can um was it called so that we can make our way to the surface now i'm going to hand over this other sheet music because i'd rather not have them on me all the time so i'm gonna give him all right so he's gonna try and play that sheet music yeah 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 good 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 now, we shall be going back to momo so that we can give him all the books we found so far within this place. Right, so how are you guys? I hope all of you guys are doing good. Uh, personally speaking, I'm also doing just fine. And I am more excited about our episodes today. So. Today we shall be going to, if you had watched the previous episode anyway, you'll know that we are going to fix the transistor so that we can be able to finally communicate with the guys who left the slums. Alright, so that is, this is the way to Momo's apartment. And there is Momo. Now, something tells me that I might have missed something in Momo's apartment. It's the it's the major first major place we come to, so it probably has a lot of stuff. Anyway, let's just hand over. Let's just hand over the notebook. So this is Clementine's. Uh, that's Doc's. And that is... Yeah. Zed Blattaza. Oh Lord, Jesus Christ. What a name. Anyway, so this is going to be our first real mission of this episode as we are going to be tasked with placing that fixed transceiver at the top of the building. Wait, what's that? No, it's just a radio. So we've received the transceiver and now Momo is explaining to us that because we are in peak physical condition being small, fast, uh, no I don't want to say elastic, flexible and agile <laughs> that we should be the ones to do this mission. Alright so we are on the outside and we shall be heading towards well, you know, that building right there. Hey. 
So we are at the rooftops. It's the start of our new chapter. What I shall do is try and call over the Zax. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Why do I feel like I've already messed up? Oh, Brody. Yeah. Anyway, we might have messed up a little bit, but we are good, so. It doesn't really matter. And we are gonna just do this. Because going through there the normal way would have resulted in our untimely death. And we don't want to be and we want to do as little dying as possible. Anyway, so this is another memory, remembrance. So we are going to add on to our log. Yeah, so basically speaking, um, this guy's memories um, there was this guy who was just tired of the darkness and decided enough is enough I'm gonna see the light which is kind of nice so funny thing is you have to do that twice so that you can be able to move uh, like we did previously we have to walk inside this barrel and walking inside the barrel allows us to jump up top all the way up into the next area of interest okay there aren't any zacks over here which is nice but there are zacks over here as you can see there they are flooding their way to where we are now i will say this these things if they corner you it's game over yeah, it's a good thing they're not there holy shit <laughs> Oh yeah, I'm supposed to do this a second time and open the door for them so that they can come this side and be trapped on the other side. <laughs> yeah, I was about to diss them on how dumb they are and they almost got me. Yeah, so as you can see, it would be impossible to do this while the Zacks are attacking you. Now, with that done, we keep moving up now this is like their mother nest you can just see a lot of goo all over the place it's, it's quite revolting and it's yeah it's really revolting that's all i'm gonna say as you can see more zacks they are literally everywhere in this building it's no wonder nobody ever comes up here anymore because it's like going into certain death you know nobody except agent brody the greatest cut agent of all time anyway so we shall lower this plank of wood and continue on our merry way forward now this is some of these are some of the most dangerous parts of this entire place i cannot <laughs> stress enough how awful this place is i mean look just look at this place there are eggs unhatched eggs here which is just lucky for us and there are unhatched eggs and hatched zacks roaming all over the place 
Now, in the previous episode, I theorized partially that um, oh god, I I partially theorized that Zacks are modeled after are modeled after ticks causing the plague. And as you can see, these things are <laughs> jumping all over the place trying to get to us. Now, um, there is this one part that you need to maneuver as well. And again, as you can see, we have that barrel inside. So it goes without saying that you're gonna have to use it. Now, I'm gonna... I'm gonna meow and attract all of them to a frenzy. As you can see, they can't wait to get their hands on us. So we're gonna hack this door. Ah, they're following. Which is good. Because if they want, we'd be in so much trouble. Alright, I think they are trapped, which is good, so I can unhack the door, and they are dying for some reason. Anyway, not that I'm concerned about their well-being. Wait, are they coming back to me? I sure hope not. Okay. Right, so, so far so good. Now, this part is kind of tricky. I'm gonna need them all to live in one direction. And then we can run past. Nice. For some reason, some of them keep dying, but I don't really care. That squishy sound is just them dying. Anyway. Now this is one of the most terrifying parts of this game. You're gonna hear a lot of screaming, so please bear with me. Yeah, you'd also be scared if you saw all this happen. Anyway, you're gonna have to do a lot of track and feel just to survive this. A lot of track and field as you wait for the elevator to descend. The only problem is more keep coming. Alright. So we are inside. The good thing is they can't get us anymore. Now, as you can see, this building has so many eggs. It's, it's almost like a broiler or something. It's a place where many eggs are produced. Um, so, uh, most this door, this door is normally jammed, doesn't work. So, what we have to do is go back to the top and leave. Alright, so B12 is telling us to place the antenna and here it is. So we are going to place the transceiver at the antenna and that is our mission complete. Again. That's one of the most dangerous places to be in, but as I've already played this, as I uh, disclosed to you guys earlier, I have already logged in nearly 15 hours in the game, so it probably wouldn't have been quite a challenge for me. First time though it was, not gonna lie.
So B12 B12 has found out one more memory about himself and it was to reopen the city. So this is us traveling back to Momo so that we can give him the good news of a successful transplanting of the transceiver. Alright, so this is part 2 of the slums. I still think there's something that I'm missing in Momo's apartment. But I can't quite get my head around it. And the problem is, I know for a fact that this is the last chance I'll have from here. So I'm just gonna call it. If there's something that I've missed, I'm not gonna get it now. Let's go find the bar so that we can Okay, let's go to the bar and meet up with Momo. But yeah, so so far so good. Um I'm not quite sure if I'm not quite sure if we are going to get everything done as quickly as possible but we are going to do our best today. All right, so um as we descend to the lower floors, we are at the bar. Dude is very excited. <laughs> oh, that guy's called Billy. Nice. Anyway. Look at him petting us. Does that all look? So you have to go through the sewers so that you can reach the surface. Hmm. 
so much information to digest in one sitting. Alright, so apparently Doc was working on a secret weapon that was able to kill the Zacks. And that is where we are headed to right this instance. I've not even found all the remembrances in this one region. Oh yeah, we spilled, we made that guy spill the paint on this place. Not dispersed, but look at our cute little paw prints. You really gotta love it. Oh yeah, sorry. He's more focused on my paw prints. Isn't that right, little? Isn't that li right, little Brody? So, we are going to infiltrate his place because we can. Um, I don't know. I mean, you are his son, you should be knowing this. Time will tell. Now, the first time I played the game, I was doing this thing so fast that I did not have the time to talk to him. So, is that some kind of clue? Is a very important dialogue piece because for me, the first time I played, I did not have that dialogue piece, and it really bothered me to figure out how to. Well, as you guys can see, when you open up everything. It kind of, it kind of made me. It kind of made it hard for me to figure out the combination for this code. Now, when you see this translation here, time will tell. Conveniently, there are four clocks right there. So when you focus in, you see that uh, I'm shameless. The first one is at two. Uh, the second one is at. Okay, the last one is at two. Uh, the second, the third to last is one, and the second one is five. So it's a two five one two kind of thing. So two five one two. Wait, am I doing it wrong? <laughs> yeah, it's two five one one. Oh God, it's two five one one. Jesus Christ. Yeah, it's a 2511 kind of thing. I promise I can read the time well, you guys. Don't roast me. <laughs> oh, man. Alright. So. Right now we are gonna try and help him find the weapon But personally speaking I like throwing things on the floor because I can It fills me with so much joy Anyway, let's translate this Zacks are officially no longer under control They now eat metal Yeah, that sucks Thank <laughs> you. 
cute sounds but never friendly old bacteria of human time eats all kinds of materials total vision in the dark react to intense light dude these are ticks these are ticks i think my theory of this being a plague is sort of correct at this point anyway let's talk to shamus yes i have this all right so we now need to find somebody to fix this tracker for us because it's kind of broken okay i do not know if i haven't found anything inside here but we can always come back here the only thing is yeah so the only thing is you're going to have to find i'm going to try and find some other places. <laughs> i still love seeing the cute food things anyway so let's head over to the bar and ask around because as with every city in the world if you want information you have to go to a drinking establishment all right so we're going to ask the bartender So his office is just left to grandma's shop so that's where we shall be heading. Now I haven't explored the bar yet so let me just do that real quick. Ah yes another remember. So let's help our little Mr. B12. Alright, so we only have three more memories to find in this one area. Yeah, Biwantu is just looking at <laughs> little Brody wondering what the heck he's doing. Alright, so we have a sheet music. Fantastic. Yeah, so we have found some more law. Um, the robots of today have developed a digesting system in our bid to mimic humans. Anyway, we have scored that pool. I'm not gonna play all these other pools, so time to keep moving. Right, so uh, Elliot's place is, according to the bartender, just left on Grandma's shop. Uh, Elliot programming, nice. So this is where we are need to go. The door has been opened for us. Fantastic. Another sheet music. Fantastic. And what do we find? Another remember. Fantastic. So these plants. So these plants have been created in a way manner that they can survive without sunlight and it was as a means to purify the air within the city and that is really amazing mm, 
Yeah, screw this music. Anyway, let's talk to Elliot, shall we? So we are gonna need to find him a blanket. Luckily, Grandma's shop is just right around the corner. So this is Grandma. Let's meet her and... Wow. Alright, so we are gonna need to get her some electric wire. Right, so we're gonna need to go find some electric wire for grandma. I just wanted to get that out of the way. Now, to get some electric wire, this is one of the final cans we need to get something specific. So I'm gonna take it as well. And this is another remember that I wanted to bring to find, I mean. Alright, so that's another memory that we've unlocked. Now we only have one more memory to find within this specific part of the game. I'm not even sure if I know where I'll find it, but... Again, it's why we explore, right? Okay, that's Momo's apartment. So, um... The guy who sells wire is the beta man and to find the beta man is somewhere around here and yeah, this is him and this is the electric cable we need okay so he wants super speed charging So it will cost me one energy drink can to get that shit music. And it will cost me three energy drink cans to get this relic. Um, I'm gonna give him the three energy cans right now. And this is the final remember. Yeah, so as that says, the robots in this place basically speaking took over the humans. Took over from the humans, I mean. Ah, oh, I do not have another energy can, but it's fine, I'm going to find some. I mean, or if I do find some, I will be able to, um, yeah, if I do find some, I will be able to get that shit music that you can have a musician. Anyway, if you guys can remember from the previous episode, we successfully made that robot drop paint. Now, it's October 11th, apparently, which is two days before my birthday, which is nice, but doing so made this guy open his shop, and this is a super spirit detergent that we need. Right. Now that we do have the super spirit detergents, we can leave and go back to Mr. Betaman. I'm so glad that we found all the memories from this first section. I kind of wasn't even actually thinking that we would, to be honest. 
All right, so this is the super spirit, and we get the electric cable now. With this cable, we can finally run all the way over to um, Grandma's. In exchange for this cable, she will knit us a nice poncho, and from that poncho, she we will be able to take it to Mr. Elliot. Now, this is electric cable, and now we can get our poncho made for us. Awesome. Now, I'm gonna say thanks to her. And we are going to go back to Elliot programming. And we are gonna walk through. And we are gonna go up. And we are gonna talk to him now. Now we're gonna give him the poncho. Uh. Alright, so he's already fixed our he's fixed our tracker and we can now go back to Elliot. Now I shall be doing that but unfortunately everybody we are going to do that not on this episode but we are going to do it in the next one so what i shall be doing from here is actually head over to the musician and no what i'm just gonna do this for the sake of it again <laughs> right so what I shall be doing right now is we're going to head over to the musician, hand over another one of our sheet musics, and pick up from here in the next episode. So as a recap, we've been able to place the transistor at the tower. We've able to be we've able to communicate with Zablataza or whoever that was. Um, we've also been able to find all the memories from this one location, which is nice, and. We've also been able to find the tracker that should probably lead us to Doc. Now we're going to hand over sheet music number 5. And in the next episode we shall be going back to Shemas and handing over the trackers is going to help us go find Doc and we're going to pick it up from there in the next episode. So as Brody takes his well deserved nap after a nice bit of work, I shall leave you guys at this point. So stay safe, be smart, be kind. Tell somebody you love them today and I'll catch you all in the next one. Bye guys.